Great. Uh, thank you, Jane. No, I appreciate the, uh, the, the introduction. So uh, I guess it, I, I also appreciate everyone uh, taking the time out of their day to, to meet today. Uh, we'd like to thank the, the Dutchess County Bar for allowing us to present this webinar today on the, uh, the 11 Habits of Successful Law Firms uh, in the Digital Age. Uh, so with everything that's happening right now, uh, it's really important to focus on the basics and the, really the daily habits that will help your firm to grow. And like uh, Jana mentioned, like about, while you can't ask questions during the webinar, we will have a Q&A section at the end. So if you have any, just put them in the chat and, and we'll be more than happy to answer those when we, we finish here. So here, what I'm gonna do is just share my screen with you. So, uh, yeah, before we, we begin, we just want to give an introduction for uh, myself and Kevin. So, uh, my name is Tyler Crastons. I'm a, a business development manager here at LEAP. Uh, I actually am from New York originally. I'm from the upstate area and in the uh, Albany uh, area. And I, I went to school down in Long Island uh, at Hofstra University, and now I live in Brooklyn. So, uh, I've lived all over New York State, but I've also helped uh, firms across the state as well. Uh, really, I mean, obviously, firms in New York City have a much different need than uh, like firms in like Dutchess County, for example. And so, I, I really just am very passionate about helping them to streamline a lot of their processes and, and really, at the end of the day, like make your lives easier. Uh, so, I, I also want to give Kevin the opportunity to introduce himself. No, thanks, Tyler. Yeah, my name's uh, Kevin Briggs. Um, I'm not from New York. I'm actually originally from uh, North Dakota, but happily made the move to New York City after meeting a uh, lovely lady on a vacation year to visit a buddy of mine. But um, like Tyler, I'm a business development manager at Leap, um, covering the whole state of New York. And yeah, just looking forward to chatting with you all today and you know, hopefully helping um, everyone here work a little bit more efficiently. Excellent. Great, thanks Kevin. Uh, yeah, so for those who haven't heard of Leap before, our mission is to help the attorneys to help the people. Uh, by providing modern practice management software to help you run your business. And we've been helping firms since 1992 to run their businesses more efficiently and profitably and have been providing cloud services for well over 13 years. Yeah, that's right. And in May of last year, Leap entered into a joint venture with LexisNexis to provide you know, Time Matters and PC Law clients with an easy transition uh, to Leap's cloud solution. And after evaluating all providers, um, they actually named Leap as their best in class cloud solution. Um, so we look, we look at software as being you know, more than just record keeping. It's, it's really a business tool for you to achieve your goals, you know, run and grow your business and to help your clients. Uh, so that being said, we can start today's webinar. Thanks, Ken. So, yeah, today we'll be discussing the 11 habits of successful law firms in the digital age. Now, Leap's chairman has recently updated these habits because, as we, we all know, COVID has had such a dramatic effect on the way that firms are operating. And so for the sake of time, we'll be focusing on the ones that we see as most relevant. So the first habit we'll focus on is deciding to be efficient. Now, for most small law firms, your survival depends upon your efficiency. And without efficiency, I mean, it's possible to survive if you want to work every night and probably weekends too, but it's not a sustainable model for a happy, well-balanced life. And efficiency is how you make more money and gives you a competitive advantage against other firms who are not as efficient. And as the managing partner, you need to make a commitment to being efficient and leading your staff. So how do you become more efficient is the question. Oh, actually, well, before we jump into that, Tyler, I think uh, we need to get on the same page. I think the slides aren't scrolling through properly. You not see the, okay. Let me. There we go. Gotcha. Okay. Excellent. Yeah. So how do you become more efficient? Um, really the easiest way to become more efficient is just to use effective technology um, and to ensure that these tools are being used effectively. Um, due to COVID, firms need the flexibility to work from anywhere uh, because unfortunately, we're not sure when we're going to be able to go back into an office safely and or if at the end of all this, uh, we'll actually want to go back into an office when it when it does become safe or become safe. So um, to be able to work from anywhere efficiently, efficiently, you really need to be able to access your uh, case information from wherever you're working. 
Um, so that means, you know, having all your case documents, your billing, your communication and file sharing, you know, all in one place. Um, so just to show you how we actually accomplished this in Leap, um, this is really the home page. So when you, you know, start the day, you have a list of all of the cases that uh, the firm is currently working on. Um, and you can see they're broken down by the case names, matter types, and so on. Um, and then from there, you can go ahead and edit them and look at, you know, just the case that you're working on, what you've recently viewed, matters of trust funds, and so on. Or if a client gives you a call, you can simply type in their name, and Leap will locate that case for you. Um, so once you double click, Leap will open up the case. Um, this is essentially just an electronic version of the case that houses all the case information and the documents in one place for you. Um, so you can see on the left side of the screen, um, this is all the case information, the people that are associated with the case. Entering in a person is very easily, you just uh, simply double click and you can enter in any person and their information into the system. Um, easily, whether it's a person or an organization. If you, and if you happen to have multiple cases open for the same uh, client, it'll save this information so you don't have to key it in every time. Um, when you first start a case, you can select what type of case are you working on because that'll provide the relevant information for it. Um, so as you can see here, we have many different types for you to choose from. Uh, we call these matter types. Um, so you can see we have about seven or eight different types in wills, about 12 different types in real estate, litigation, and family law. And as mentioned, this will change the table types that are associated to the case. Of course, a real estate case will have property information, whereas a family a law case wouldn't. Um, so on the right side of the screen, you can see all the documents are associated with your case. These are your Word documents, PDFs, emails. If you happen to scan anything, you can, of course, import it. Um, and we do integrate with Microsoft Outlook, so you can store all of your case-specific emails here as well. And if you wanted to share a document, you can just right click on it. You can either email the original, you can have it automatically converted into a PDF and emailed. Um, you can actually chat and send a document through Teams um, or send it via Law Connect, which is sort of like our version of Dropbox. So if your firm isn't keeping up with uh, technology, you know, you're really unfortunately going to get passed by. Um, and a really great example here are banks. You know, less than 20 years ago, all banking was performed inside of actual brick and mortar banks. And if you fast forward today, almost all businesses and personal banking is done online. You know, and I, I can probably count on one hand personally the number of times I've actually set foot in an actual bank in the last few years. Um, so any banks that didn't move to adapt new technology and provide their clients with online services would have gone out of business. And for firms who don't adapt to new technology, this could be their future as well. Um, so leaders of successful firms are always looking for new ways to use technology to provide better, faster, and more consistent service. So with that being said, you should be using your focus, or sorry, your technology to focus on, you know, having a single cloud-based database to run your cases that's accessible from anywhere. Um, so that would include your case management, your time recording, your billing, your trust accounting, and it's all in one application. Um, it's simply inefficient and more expensive to try to connect multiple programs together um, from different suppliers. Um, additionally, you should be recording every activity as you go, whether that's an hourly case, it's a flat fee or a contingency so that you can bill accurately and also comply with your legislated uh, record keeping obligations. Um, you should also have a library of highly automated legal forms, letters and agreements to maintain consistency and provide accurate documents as quickly as possible, as well as having a system that will easily generate bills, you know, both individually and in bulk. And you really want that to tie in with your time recording to make your billing a simple and painless process, or at least as painless as possible. Um, so if you don't have systems that give you these tools, you know, it's really time for a review as there are better ways um, to work. You know, these are features that are all available in Leap and allow firms to be more competitive in the current market. And by running on a cloud-based system, you know, tech-savvy law firms can use their computers at home and their smartphones and their tablets to work exactly the same way that they would in an actual office. Yeah, exactly, Kevin. And many firms think that putting effort into bookkeeping is really a good place to start, but revenue is generated by the attorneys. So it makes sense to make the attorneys as productive as possible. A great place to start is with how you record your time. Now, time is your stock, and if you don't capture your time accurately, you're essentially working for free. 
but you need software that captures your time as you work. And the way that you work now isn't the same as, as how you worked 20 years ago. I mean, now we have emails, cell phones, uh, tablets, and texting yeah. clients. And if you're still trying to track time the same way that you recorded time 20 years ago, it's time to reevaluate. And technology has changed and allows for more advanced ways of tracking your time. And success starts with having every attorney in your firm accurately record their time every day. So in Leap, if you wanted to record time for a letter, for example, you go up to new document and you have all the parties on the, the case, so you can select who you're sending the letter to. And this is something that Leap actually will uh, automate your letter template for you. So when you open up that letter, all that information comes across automatically. So then all you do is just start drafting the letter. There's no copy and pasting. There's no like rekeying information. And if you want to record time for this letter, rather than having to either like start and stop a timer or jot it down on like a, a legal pad, you can come up here to the time, save and close button. So as soon as you click that, a brand new billing window is created where you can see the time has automatically been tracked for you. You can edit the units yourself here, as well as the billing description. So we'll say like with case updates, for example, and then save and close. And the letter saves directly back into your case and the time you spent working on it is automatically recorded as a brand new time entry for you. So that way you don't have to go back at the end of the month and try to reconcile all that time that you spent on, on different documents. You can also record time for emails that you're sending out. So similar to the, the Microsoft Word integration, we integrate with Microsoft Outlook. So here, if you click new email, same thing, it opens up a brand new email for you, has the parties on the case, so you can select who you're sending it to. And then the subject line merges across automatically. So then once you're finished with your email, you can send that email as normal or click this time and send button, which if you click that, it creates the same billing window that you saw for the letter where the time's automatically being created or uh, tracked for you. You click save and close and you'll have that time tracked for the emails, which with, when I speak with uh, firms that are recording their time is really where a lot of time gets lost because it just becomes tedious to record time for every single email that you're sending. And you also see here a copy of the email saved directly back into the case. And that's the nice thing about that integration is that all you do is send the initial email through Leap like you saw, keep working out look like you normally would, and then all of your replies and your client's replies are automatically saved in both places. So you don't have to spend time dragging across each individual email or, or doing it at the end of the day, for example. Now, let's say you wanted to record time when you're outside the office Leap also has a mobile app for that. So you can go to your phone and access that mobile app and you have access to all the cases that you're working on. So let's say you're in court and you want to record some time, you can open up the case. You have access to all the, the case and other party details, the documents from here. And if you wanted to record time, you use the stopwatch button. Where you could start it, let's say you're, you're going into like a client meeting, for example, you can start it there, use the timer, or you can just, stop and save it and edit after the fact. So you can go here and edit the duration. So let's say that you're in that meeting for like an hour, you could update that time entry and it updates it there for you. Then you can enter in activity codes or you can go down to the billing description and either type or dictate in. So we'll just say like client meeting and then save it. And when you save it, it saves directly back into your case. And that's the nice thing about all the work you do on your phone or desktop, tablet, it all syncs with each other. So you don't have to like bring back sticky notes back into the office to, to try to record when you get there. Instead, you can actually do that from court and have it there immediately. That's right. And uh, next really comes, you know, producing your documents. You know, having attorneys produce your documents efficiently, efficiently will deliver a big return. Um, and this is really achieved by integrating your case management with your actual document templates. Um, so let's give you a peek at, you know, how, how Leap actually does it here. Oh, just let me maximize. Um, so any of this case information that we have stored on the left side of the screen here are essentially fields that we can then use to load into a form, uh, the letter, any, any type of documents. You can see here, um, this is a family law divorce case. You can see all these support details. This is again, information that we're gonna be using in various documents. Um, so we just head up to the forms and templates tab here. 
you can see that we have many different um, forms available just for within mm -hmm. family law for you to possibly choose from. Um, for example, here are uh, many different orders. If there's something you can find, you can of course go ahead and search for it. So we'll just search for motion to dismiss. And you'll notice here that we have hundreds of different options for you to choose just for the state of New York. Um, and I think in the state of New York, we have something around like six or 7,000 forms created just for the state. Um, so once you click on a motion to dismiss, it'll actually just open up Microsoft Word for you. And what we've done is just highlighted all the information that's automatically loaded into this document for you. So this is all the information that we have stored in the case. Um, so it's the names, the dates, docket number, um, addresses, um, any court information, as well as any financial information. Um, it operates just like a normal Word document. So you can edit the document um, as you see fit. Um, and actually change any of the dates um, uh, should you need to. Additionally, we offer the option for you to edit any of these templates. So they're not just standard out of the box. If you wanna change them and make them your own, um, you can of course do that as well. So lastly is billing and time spent on creating and like sending and following up on bills is time that you could be spending on more legal billable work or spending I mean, honestly, just with friends and family. Uh, so many firms are following more of like a time consuming and annual process for creating their bills and have to go back into the office to like access case information to actually send out those bills. Now with Leap, setting bills is easy because once you're in the case, you can just create a new invoice here. And you'll see, since you've been tracking your time automatically, it's all entered and organized for you in this billing or this uh, invoice window. Where you can edit those billing descriptions there. You can edit the amounts. And then once everything looks good, you can actually create the bill. And this is a part of the implementation process as well. Similar to how we would uh, like automate your letter template, we also automate your invoice template for you. So that way like your bills, they look the way that you want them to look and they'll be branded with like your firm's logo at the top there. Uh, but just to show you an example of, of what a, an invoice would look like, you can see one pulling up here where you have, again, your firm's logo at the top. As you scroll down, you'll see all of those time entries have come across into the invoice. You have those professional fees separated from the expenses there. And at the bottom, you can see you have the balances. So like the trust balance, uh, retainer balance. And we also have an integration with law pay so that your, credit, your clients can pay by credit card if that's something that you wanted to offer to them. Uh, the benefit of that is if you send this bill to a client, you can have them click this click to pay button and it opens the payment screen where they can enter in their payment information. And as soon as they've entered in that payment information, they submit payment, you receive an email notification that the payment's been made and the payment is automatically receded back into Leap for you. So you don't have to have that manual process of tracking those payments and entering them separately. It will just show up as another payment right there in your operating accounts. The other benefit of that is you can actually set up payment reminders to be sent out. And those can be sent out either over a text or email to your client, uh, either like before a bill is due, when a bill is due, or if like the client still hasn't paid after a bill is due. And so it just makes chasing AR a very easy process for the firm to manage. And what I'd like to do here is, is really break down uh, the return on investment for the firm because I, just to give you an idea of what, the, what all this actually means for the, the firm itself. Uh, so let's say your billable hour is like $350. If you're able to capture an additional one-tenth of a billable hour each day, so that's like one extra email like we talked about, uh, one extra like phone call or, or like a court meeting outside the office, that's an additional $770 in revenue every month and over $9,000 annually that the firm is bringing in. And that's per attorney, per fee earner. So if you have multiple attorneys at the firm, I mean, that, that number only grows exponentially at that point. And that's also, again, not even including the, the administrative work or non-billable work that's cut out by like the forms like Kevin mentioned or like the invoicing like we talked about. Yeah, that's right. Um, so thanks, Tyler. Um, these are some of the lessons that you know, we've learned from the 11 habits that we've observed working with you know, many successful practices um, in New York and most recently in firms that have more easily adapted to working in a digital practice. Um, so if you're interested in reviewing the technology you use and you know, how Leap can 
help your practice, Tyler, I'd be more than happy to arrange an online meeting, um, discuss your needs and, you know, how LEAP can possibly assist your practice. Um, attendees today qualify for a 25% discount. All we need is an order form by uh, November 25th uh, to secure the discount. Uh, and I guess that brings us to the Q&A portion. So I guess we could either take a brief break to field any questions, Jana, um, that you may have, or you can um, enter in the chat box. Or how would you like to handle it? Before we do that, let me give you guys code number two for your oh. code sheet is going to be turkey. I've run out of numbers. I'm not, I just keep giving words. I'm not very creative. It's um, very relevant. It's right, it's November, <laughs> turkey. I'm thinking about lunch. Um, <clears throat> so if anybody has any questions, that you can unmute yourselves and go ahead and ask them or um, feel free to type them into the chat box and I'll read it for you. Um, just a reminder that part two of the seminar is next Thursday at 12. If you haven't, Registered, you can do that on our website, duchesscountybar.org. Um, if you do intend to submit for CLE credit, you need to make sure that you are at both sessions.